I took him to a place near Radio One. Okay. A couple of drinks. Yeah. Like, and it was a really interesting one because my first question was, you know, is this is this a is this a character? What's what's the crack here? Um Is it a character? <laughs> I've just realised on here as well, Stevie, that we was going to talk quickly about Francis Bourgeois. 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 All right. The the train guy. Train guy. Yeah. Yeah. So you've done a few bits with him, haven't you? Yeah. So when he... Where where did that start? So, yes, I know him. um, I'm trying to work out when I first... When I first... Maybe maybe I'd seen some of his stuff online Mm -hmm. and thought brilliant let's bring him to radio one i think that probably was the root of it Mm -hmm. and then i felt like he was going massive and i felt like i wanted to actually help a little bit oh oh, sorry did you what you knew him before it blew up um i mean he was going bigger Mm. i think right i think i'd I'd have to go through messages to Mm. completely validate this (laughs) before anyone pulls out receipts (laughs) um but I, I wanted to be in touch with him because he, he came on the show and one thing that really struck me was like, you're really popular and famous and this must be weird for the for the person that I'm seeing on this video. Like, how do you deal with that? There must be all sorts of people coming in, wanting things and doing all that. And weirdly, I just kind of reached out and, and um, my first thought was, well, look, it'd be great to find something to work on together. You know, maybe we could create a podcast or we could do something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so then we met up. And what really struck me was everything I was worried about with him, I didn't need to worry about. And the reason, why why would I worry? Why is it my responsibility? Well, I, I think like I, I, I have this thing sometimes where I've seen people get like swallowed up mm-hmm. and it's it's actually not very nice and I would I would like to genuinely quite help some new or ish people or like me and you have been in touch for quite a mm-hmm. long time I would like to think that you could always drop me a little message or ask for my number like mm-hmm. but, you know you have my number yeah. but, you know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? but and just get a bit of advice like, mm-hmm. I really would like to feel and maybe it's a BBC and radio one thing that we're encouraged to do is like just sort of help a little bit yeah and i do think a lot of the guys at work are very good in that mm-hmm. um so with him there was an element of that i also thought wouldn't it be great to like see see what we can help with or see what we can work on together maybe for example like you know i produce some podcasts as well and mm-hmm. like mate is there something that could be interesting there so anyway met up with him where'd you meet him um i took him to a place near radio one okay a couple of drinks yeah like, and what really struck me about him was he's so brilliantly measured. He like he's so aware of what, uh, uh, like, of sharks that are about, and like, really, yeah. And and it was a really interesting one because my first question was, you know, is this is this a is this a character? What's what's the crack here? Um, is it a character? I don't I don't think it is. I really don't think it is. But what's what's mad about it is like he's he's such an amazing person if i'm saying if it's not character i don't think it is a character i it is it, public knowledge that it's not his real name right Francis bourgeois <laughs> right yeah <laughs> i didn't like i was quite surprised that people were surprised <laughs> yeah <laughs> his real name's dick my but but yeah but like what i really like about him is he's got a producer's brain okay and i think he does know what works and what he wants to experiment with and what he wants to be involved in i was so impressed by that Mm. so for example he had very clear ideas of what he wanted to make as as a potential podcast and things like that and we worked out that it probably isn't like aligned the same way Mm -hmm. and i just thought that is so cool that you you know are, are, are sort of strong enough to do that and he was signing for an agent and and all of this thing and i was i was kind of like a bit of me was, was sort of trying to say, like, well, if you're signing for an agent, just be a bit careful about this thing. He seems really on it. So my my thing is, I don't think, I don't think his passions or anything like that are a character per se. Right. But then when I did the Mila Kunis interview, I had people going, "Are you an actor? Are you a character?" I think, I think you can be heightened versions of yourself, or yeah. exaggerated versions of yourself, and I think that's what's going on here. And I think. Where people get maybe get him wrong is he's a lot more in control of his stuff than 
people might think. Right. And I think that's a really good thing, yeah. actually. I think that's a really amazing thing. And he's such an interesting bloke and his passions as well in music and electronic music. And yeah, there's pictures of him at like music, yeah. like EDM music festivals. And that's stuff what I mean. Like... And some people think that contradicts the train stuff. And it's not. It, for me, I see a guy who's just very um, passionate and uh, almost about the mechanics of it all. And, right. Uh, yeah. So... It's a really tricky one to answer this, Jack, isn't mm. it? Because I I don't think it's a, a character as in he's going back and he's having a smoke and he's like, brilliant performance today. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I, I really don't think it's that. Okay. But I think there is, um, I think he's more in control of it than people probably would think. Right. But I, I don't know. That's just, a, just yeah. an opinion. Yeah. I think he's, I think he's brilliant. He Absolutely is, yeah. brilliant in what he does. You can't watch one of his videos and not smile. That's the thing about it. That's what I love, mm. like, and especially recently, and it's so different to other um, creators. Mm. And I think he's a really nice guy. I think he's a really generous guy. Mm -hmm. I think uh, I think he's so talented. And I, I think it's amazing to see someone who's done something different mm. and be rewarded for it. Yeah. And I think we should encourage that as much as possible. I would love to be. I'd love to have him on air, wouldn't you? Yeah. He seems really nice and innocent. Mm. So it's, yeah, that's... It's, it's, it, that's the only contrast, isn't it? When you see him at a festival and he's proper going for it. And then he's yeah. all... But then he's not going to be proper going for it looking at a train. So it's like, well, he's doing does. two but different is, things. Is that a contrast that you can... I mean, is it... Is this not what he's dispelling a bit? Is a misconception that if you like trains, you can't be young, you can't enjoy festivals, enjoy electronic music, you can't um, f do whatever you, you other young people, young people, you mm. know what I mean? Like, yeah. What any of us would do. Yeah, that's true. So, so my point is like, just because things contradict, if anything, I would say that's makes them more interesting. Yeah, fair play to him. I obviously have been through periods of my life where I've coped with it by drinking quite a lot and going out at the weekends and being up until silly hours of the morning. I've noticed that I've been able to not do that as much 